You know, I thought that not studying for exam was the worst thing that you could do going in for an exam. But what about not studying and not sleeping the day before? Isn't that actually worse? What's up guys, today I want to share with you my thoughts on not sleeping the day before exam and also answer some of the assumptions that I had of not sleeping the day before exam. So firstly, let me just give you guys some context. So how does a guy like me, a studious person, apparently just decide to not sleep the day before exam? So here's the story. The exam that I was preparing was for community medicine. And for those exam, we had three days to study, right? And community medicine being my weak subject, I knew I had to start early. And for that same reason, I started early, right? The first day itself, I started studying. But the problem is, I don't know, maybe this is the magic of community medicine or something. I have no idea how this occurs. Just 15 minutes into it, and it is good night, sweet dreams for me. Later, around two hours or so, I'll wake up and realize that I just basically, you know, wasted my whole morning and I'll start studying. And after seriously studying for a bit, I will have come to this conclusion that there is no way. Okay, there is no way I'm gonna finish this. And you know what happens when you lose hope, right? If hope is lost, everything's lost. And that is the end of the day. And this actually continued for three whole days. Now here comes the interesting part. The third day, that is the day before exam, it was actually Shivaratri. And there was a part of me that seriously wanted to stay up all night during Shivaratri. So here is a situation wherein on one side, I have not studied much for the exam and on the other side I wanted to stay up all night so badly because it was Shivaratri and I just looked at the situation and I just said why not there is a saying in Malayalam it goes like if you have already gotten wet why not just take a bath and in my scenario the situation was already you know it was out of my hand now the real question was actually how far will I throw this away from my hand basically I just went YOLO and also there was a part of me that was excited to do this because I have never done this before and I wanted to test it out, right? I wanted to experiment it and actually see what would happen. And now since we are all in the same page, now let us talk about the assumptions. First assumption was that I would feel sleepy because I didn't sleep and I would fall asleep on the exam table. That was the first assumption. Now this is funny because I didn't feel sleepy at all. In fact, everything was normal. The only time I actually felt sleepy was from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. And beyond that, I felt as if my body had just resetted. Basically, when it reached the point where I usually wake up, at that time, my body just thought I woke up. It's like I got a full night's sleep, except I didn't. Now, the second assumption was that I would not remember anything for exam. And the answer to this is yes, but no. It is tricky, let me explain. You see in the exam for essay, they had actually asked typhoid. I was able to write quite a lot about typhoid for the exam with my knowledge from microbiology. So what I have come to realize is that the long-term memory is not affected by sleep. That could be the only explanation. Now let us talk about the short-term memory because oh boy, the stuff that I learned on the short-term was completely, completely wiped. I could not remember or recall anything that I learned on the short term. So I have come to realize that the short term memory is quite dependent on sleep. So all in all, I think it was a great experience. Would I do this again? Well, the answer is yes for Shivaratri, but no for the day before exam. Definitely no for the day before exam. I think that for a lot of us, we learn so much in the short term, right? The day before exam, maybe the week before exam, most of the stuff is actually learned in the short term. And I feel that it would all go to waste if we did not get a good night's sleep. For that one reason, I would definitely not stay up the whole night. So this was my experience of not studying for exam properly and also not sleeping the day before exam. I personally want to know your thoughts, right? Have you done this before? Have you, have you stayed up all night? Have you burnt the midnight oil and how did you go about it? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Peace.